Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here. In today's Trash to Treasure video, I am going to be giving a heap of baskets a bit of a makeover and hopefully updating their look in order to resell them. So let's jump straight in. So the first two little baskets are very dated looking. I have no idea where these baskets came from. I would have never have bought them um, unless they might have been maybe part of the kids' Easter baskets when they were little. I've got no clue. But, I mean, I'm sure people have got these style of baskets at home. They used to be what, you know, um, I know my parents used to put party food and chips and things like that in them. So, yeah, they're, they're just that typical 80s, 70s style, style of basket and the colours don't really do them much justice. So, for this makeover, I had in mind a baby's nursery so that's what I was sort of thinking along the lines of you know when I'm making these baskets over I was thinking maybe they would look pretty in a baby's nursery so I am painting them with some of this beautiful mint blue uh, chalk paint and again I've just made up my own chalk paint using some plaster of Paris and regular wall paint and I'm just going to give these baskets a couple of coats of this beautiful mint colour. Once that was dry, I then went in with some white chalk paint and just gave it a little bit of a dry brush over with some white. And once that's all dry, I'm now going to go around the edge of these baskets with some crocheted laced trim just to finish it off. And I think these will look really, really cute in a, um, in a baby's nursery, maybe to hold, you know, bows and socks and different little things like that. I think they'd look really cute. And here's the first set of baskets with a fresh new look. Who would have thought just a couple of coats of chalk paint would bring these baskets back to life again? So these ones I will definitely be selling on and yeah, I think they turned out really cute. So moving on to our next basket. For this next basket, it didn't really need much at all. I just had in mind that it would suit a more boho style of decor. So all I'm really doing with this one is just giving it a dry brush with some of this linseed colored chalk paint. And that's basically it. And I filled it with like a boho style floral arrangement. And I think this will probably look great in a, in a boho style house. So here's the little basket here. Again, it didn't need a lot, just a little bit of an update with the colour and, you know, styling it can also make all the difference. So again, this one is going to be getting resold and leaving my house. So let's move on to our next basket. I'm not even going to do anything fancy with this one, guys. It's a lovely shape and style of basket I just feel like the wicker is a little bit dated so all I'm going to do with this one is paint it in my trusty linseed color and this will not only be appealing to a boho style of decor but also farmhouse as well I just feel like this is a really lovely neutral color that will fit a lot of styles you know what I mean and it's a really nice sturdy basket that you know you can use for a multitude of purposes so yeah again guys super easy makeover just a, a couple of coats of a neutral linseed colored chalk paint so this next basket was another thrift store find I think it was literally a dollar it is a sweet little basket I like the shape and I like the style but again it's just a little bit dated in the color so I just thought giving it some you know a fresh new coat of chalk paint to update it a little bit might make it easier to sell so I wasn't sure what I was going to go with when I first started this I wasn't sure if I was just going to paint the middle of it and then leave the um, the borders that that color but I ended up deciding to paint the whole thing in this linseed color which is a really nice neutral color I actually love it I think once my 
stash runs out I'll definitely be getting this color again it's a really nice neutral color so yeah I painted the whole basket in this linseed apart from the handle and now I'm going to go back in with some white chalk paint and very lightly dry brush the sides of the basket like all the middle part of the basket there and I also then went and painted the handle in white chalk paint as well it's amazing just how some new colors on the basket can give it a whole new appearance and just bring it more into the modern today rather than stuck in the 70s and I was so tempted to keep this basket but I really don't have a spot for it so I've got to release it so here is the finished basket. I've just styled it with a little lace doily and some baby's breath. And I really think it's so cute. And it would look really nice in cottage country decor. So that's our third basket. Now onto the last one and my absolute favourite. So this basket, again, it's a really nice shape. It's a really lovely size. But it's just very dated looking. And I honestly wasn't sure what I was going to do with this basket. I didn't know which way I wanted to go. It was definitely not something I was going to keep in my decor. So I just wanted a quick makeover that I could just, you know, slap on and get rid of it basically. But um, yeah, <laughs> things changed quite rapidly. So I thought I'd start by giving it a coat of white chalk paint on the middle part of the basket or similar style that I did the last basket and yeah I'm just being careful not to touch the top rim and the bottom rim I just wanted that middle part to be actually white and you know what that was it for this basket once I saw the white and the contrast of the uh, original color I was just in love and ended up having to keep this basket for myself so sometimes with makeovers, it's not about how much you do, but sometimes it's about knowing when to stop. And I just feel like this basket, all it needed was that white in the middle. And it's just, I just think it's just brought it to life. I absolutely love this basket. And yeah, definitely be keeping this one and replacing it with one of the baskets that um, obviously doesn't look as good as this one now. <laughs> So as with all my videos, guys, I hope this one has maybe given you some ideas or inspiration on how you can bring new life into some tired looking decor you may have. And yeah, sometimes it's just as simple as giving them a fresh coat of paint. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.